Hi, welcome to the EJJ Show. I'm Julia Rouse, joined by Evan Falconer and Julia Hager, and today we're going to be talking about World Series predictions. Let's get it started with Evan. Okay, so I have the Phillies and Orioles in the World Series. The Phillies are the best team in the National League. They are by far the best team. They are, what, I think 42 and 19. Best team in the National League by far. It's obvious. They've been making the playoffs the past two years. I mean, they're going to be there for a while. And for the Orioles, I have the Orioles going. They're only two and a half games back behind the Yankees, and realistically, the Yankees will not stay. It is going to be a teeter-totter. In my, I think it's going to be a ping-ponging back for the AL East division. So I definitely have the Orioles and Phillies in the World Series. Yeah, Evan, I'm actually going to agree with you for the AL side. I have the Orioles going, too, because I believe, too, with – what they did last season and being one of the best records in the MLB, I believe it was the best. And what they they made the playoffs, they're hungry for it now, and they're ready to make that that drive for the for the championship. And I firmly believe that they could do it this year. I agree with you how the AL East it's going to be a teeter totter because I don't know if the Yankees can stay healthy this year. They have a very bad track record of that. But for the NL, I'm, I hate to say it, but I'm going to have to go with the, the Dodgers once again. That, that team is just loaded with talent after talent in their, in their lineup. Where is a missing spot in that lineup that you can say, oh, I have concerns about that player? You don't. Is their pitching still slightly questionable because they aren't the healthiest pitching rotation? Yes. But they also have so much experience in the playoffs that I believe they will definitely be making the playoffs and probably representing the NL once again this year. All right, and then it looks like we've got a caller coming in to give us our opinion, or his opinion. All right, um, we've got Chase on the line. What do you like to say, Chase? Yeah, I was wondering, what are your thoughts on a possible comeback from the White Sox and a surprise run in the World Series? All right, so he wanted to know what our opinions are on the White Sox and a possible surprise run in the World Series. Um, so let's get it started. Uh, Julia, what do you think? The White Sox, clearly one of the worst teams in the league this year. I genuinely think they're already tanking to, to start this year. It's just, it's not, it's not looking good for them. They're not going to make the playoffs. They're going to be dead last in their division. They're looking like they want to be the wannabe versions of the Oakland Athletics this year, which is not something to be proud of as an organization. Yeah, I definitely think that they are tanking their team at the moment. But if you think about it, now this is extremely unrealistic. They would have to make some incredible moves at the trade deadline, along with not losing a single game from August all the way until September. And the odds of that happening are slim to none. So um, they, I do not feel like they're making the playoffs, even though it, like, it's just not going to happen with the teams they got in their division. Yeah, I definitely feel that. So that's going to be all the time we have today. Um, I just wanted to give a thank you to our sponsor, Major League Wiffle Ball. Um, go sub to them. Go check them out. Best and Wiffle Ball yeah. week out there. And that's going to be all. Thanks so much for watching the EJJ Show. I'm Julia Rouse, and that's us signing off.